Hey everybody, this is Drew Nolan. I'm here at the Charlotte Youth Ballet Studios. And as of this segment of the video, we are one week away from our performance of Alice in Wonderland. It's a wonderful, wonderful ballet. I'm so privileged to be a part of it. So I wanted to bring this video to my subscribers so that you could see what we've gone through or more or less what I have contributed to this wonderful ballet and what all these wonderful dancers are doing. So tune in and here we go. was very simple. They needed me to perform as the March Hare, which entailed that I needed to make a mask and a costume for myself, but they also wanted two puppets in the forms of children. The original idea was that during certain parts of the performance, the camera would zoom away and get an audience reaction from these two little kids of various ethnicities. But as the performance and rehearsals went forward, things did change. Here I am working my magic starting on these puppets. First you will see the puppet body that is made out of polyfoam. Then I constructed some mouthpieces um, and built polyfoam and features around those. We wanted the concept of having two children to be in the audience of a mixed ethnicity. One African American young lady and then one kind of Caucasian-esque looking young man so that they could banter back and forth about what they saw to inspire younger audiences to want to come to the ballet. Despite, of course, that when we filmed this, it was in the middle of the pandemic. Well, the biggest change came when I was told that we could not use the children puppets. I had gotten them about 90% done, but it was debated that using them would extend the timeline of the video. And unfortunately, we were condensing a two hour plus ballet into about 45 minute video. So the children puppets had to unfortunately be scrapped but something else did come of it. As certain other dancers and performers saw my outfit coming to fruition, uh, they inquired if I could make certain masks for the other anthropomorphic characters and the Mad Hatter himself. Well, as my costume by this point was already done, we were getting closer and closer to the video date, I said I would give it my best shot and I attempted to make masks for the White Rabbit, the Cheshire Cat, the Mad Hatter, and the Dormouse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a quick excerpt from the Charlotte Youth Ballet's Safe Distance Alice in Wonderland in 2021.
how truly remarkable. Performing as the March Hare alongside such wonderful dancers and talent is an experience I will not forget anytime soon. To be truthful, although some of my masks and puppets did not make it into the final production and edit, I must say with all due honesty, this is a wonderful and brilliant ballet. And for all of those of you who are watching this video and have not seen a production by the Charlotte Youth Ballet, I would highly encourage you to do so, safe distance or otherwise, sometime in the near future. And if you want to procure a full copy of this production of Alice in Wonderland, simply contact the Charlotte Youth Ballet and I'm sure some kind of arrangement can be made. But thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a very merry, merry unbirthday. Until next time.